Hi guys, so this is the first uh, video I will do of uh, my series of videos entitled uh, First Tries and Reviews. Uh, so my for, my for my very first video I, I've decided to color my hair on my own. Well actually with my mom's help. But uh, my hair is actually colored. I went to the salon to do it like a few weeks ago, like almost two months ago. So I, And uh, usually my hair is brown. Uh, but since I'm starting to have a little bit of gray hair, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to zoom in on that, but trust me, I do have gray hair. I decided to color my hair and uh, the salon lady recommended I do a, a mixture of, of hair, a mixture of colors. Because my natural hair color and artificial color was too dark for me. So she did a mixture of uh, dark brown, of black, and of midnight blue. So she said to trust her with that color and it came out like this. Uh, personally, I think it looks more dark brown than any blackish or midnight blue, but it did come out a lot darker than my natural color. So my hair is salon colored, but now the grays are starting to put to, to come out again, so I wanted to color it again on my own. And the product I will be using, it will be this one. The Casting Creme Gloss with no ammonia because I had bought the original one, well actually the one, you know, the permanent one with ammonia and uh, I saw a review on YouTube and the girl used that product and the thing was really toxic, like her eyes were watering, she had to turn on the fan and since I'm going to be doing this with my mom and my mom has asthma problems, I don't want to be cooped up with her in the little bathroom and, you know, her having an allergic reaction to this, so... I'm going to be trying this one on and the color is dark brown and uh, supposedly there's, there's already uh, the, the gloves in this and also, I'm sorry, my husband is distracting me, I'm sorry. Uh, the gloves and everything you need in this and I bought these little extra thingies that um, every YouTuber that colored their hair in their own use, which is uh, only like a little, uh, sort of like a processing cap with elastic. So this is what I will be using. So I'm just going to open this up to let you know what's inside. I will not be coloring my hair here. I will be coloring my hair at my mom's. So I'm just going to open it up to show you what it looks like. So uh, this is what's inside. Can you guys see? Okay. So first we have this. I think this is where you're going to mix the colors in. Then you have your actual color. And I actually saw a review of a girl using um, the casting creme with no ammonia and she said it smelled fruity and already it just smells it. I just smell it and it does smell fruity. There's the little gloves. And then there's uh, the L'Oreal Paris casting creme gloss. Which I think this is to use afterwards. I think. I'm not sure. I have to read the instructions. Oops, I'm sorry, I just dropped that almost almost fell on my dog's head. Okay, and um, then we have the instructions. So this is it. I will see you guys in a bit. I'll just go over to my mom's and we'll start doing this. Okay, bye.
So hi guys, here I am in my bathroom. My mom just finished putting uh, the color on and according to the instructions I'm supposed to wait 25 minutes for the color to stay on. Actually it's 20 minutes but if you want more gray coverage they recommend you leave it 5 extra minutes. Uh, so that's it. So after that according to the instructions I'm supposed to rinse it out until the water comes out clear and then I'm supposed to add the uh, conditioner which is this one. Uh, which is this one. It's the little conditioner here. I'm supposed to add a very generous quantity of this and it's supposed to give a nice luster, nice shine to the hair afterwards. We'll see how that goes. So I have my trusty timer with me up to 25. I put it at 25 so we're down to 20 minutes now and I just wanted to add that this is not uh, a permanent. This is this goes away after 28 washes. It says so here. After 28 washes it's supposed to wash away but I just want it for this weekend because I'm going to a wedding, my my friend's wedding and uh, so I just wanted to cover the gray because I have I wanted to do this really nice braid and I don't want you know my gray hair to show. So we'll see how the look, color looks. Uh, my mom was concerned that maybe she didn't do it well and the, cover, the color's not going to distribute well but we'll see how it goes. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Ciao! Okay guys, so I finished washing my hair. Uh, it said in the uh, instructions that you needed to wash it out until the water came back clear. It took a while. I was really worried that all of the color just faded out and went out. We'll see how it looks uh, once I dry this hair out. Uh, it did tell me to use a generous amount of the conditioner. It does smell really, really good. This stuff smells really good. It smells really fruity. So, so I'm just going to wash my hair out and see the difference between before and after. I don't expect you guys to see much of a difference because it's really uh, resembles closely to my natural um, colored hair or maybe closer than, than the color I had before. Uh, so we'll see. I hope that the color did not just wash away in the water. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. So hi guys, so this is the end result. I don't know if you can tell the difference because it wasn't a really big change to the color that I had on before, uh, which it was a mixture of, of uh, dark brown, of black and of midnight blue. This was just dark brown. It was just to cover my gray hair. And I parted my hair and I don't know if you can see, maybe not, maybe because of the lighting. I already almost do not see any gray hair at all. So I'm really happy about that. I'm not saying they're completely gone because that's, that wouldn't be true. I could still see like a little few but not as many as I had before. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I like the smell. The smell is heavenly. There's no like a heavy toxic smell to it like an, after you've come from the salon. And uh, I like the conditioner. My hair is really really soft. And uh, so I'm really happy with the end result. I really think it looks a little bit darker than the one that I had before because my, you know, my after eight weeks the color starts to fade out, of course, and then, you know, my natural color was starting to come out. So I really do see that it's a little bit darker. I know you guys can't tell the difference, but I can. I'm really happy with the product. I mean, with the price, it took me what like an hour to do this. You know, to wait to, to put on the color, to wait to wash it off, and to dry it and everything. So, uh, compared to the salon where it's like, you know, you have to, you know, it's, it's just crazy. So, and plus the price in the salon is just expensive. I'm not saying that it's, the, the result compares to the salon, of course not. That's a professional doing this. This is me here at home. Uh, but the result, I'm really happy with it. And it's really going to cover my grades because I intend to to you know do a braid for tomorrow's wedding and so I'm, I'm really happy about it so that's it and there was no toxic smell that's the plus of this thing with no ammonia no toxic smell my mom hardly smelled the product it had like a really pleasant fruity smell just like the conditioner so it's fun to do it at home you know you can do it at home and I really recommend it if you don't want something permanent on your hair to use it because it's after 28 washes the product is gone the color is gone and you can experiment with a new color and I think that's what I'm going to be doing maybe next time I'll try the lighter color color so you guys can see maybe the difference and so that's it for this video I hope you like guys liked it and uh, if you did please click the thumbs down uh, thumbs up <laughs> down below uh, and if this is just to try it out I'm not a professional I'm not telling you how to dye your hair at home it's just trying out the product and telling you guys what I thought about it so that's it so take care and see you guys in another video bye